Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Monday. For the third week in a row, your Michigan Panthers have come out victorious, and they did it this time defeating the D.C. Defenders on Sunday. And with that win, they've also clinched a spot in the first ever United Football League playoffs, when one of the reasons the team did so well on Sunday joins us now. Matthew Colburn, the running back for the Michigan Panthers, joins us now to talk about the big win heading into the playoffs. And we're also going to spend a little bit of time getting to know him a little bit better. Matt, Matthew, thank you so much for stopping by today. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Of course, yeah, you know, very excited to talk to you. Obviously, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the playoff berth. I mean, uh, you guys found out a little bit after uh, the game on Sunday, a little bit afterwards, that you guys were actually going to be in the playoffs, that you had clinched that spot in the USFL conference. I mean, talk about us, uh, talk to us about that initial reaction to hearing that you guys were postseason bound once again. Yeah, no, it was just a very, uh, very exciting feeling, very, you know, gratifying feeling, um, you know, especially considering we had a three hour flight uh, yesterday after the game, you know, it's a pretty long flight, but definitely helped the, uh, you know, helped the flight go by uh, a little, a little, a little, a little quick, a little quicker. Um, but no, it was awesome. Um, you know, just, just a, just a testament to, you know, all the work that we've, we've put in this far and, um, you know, just the, the diversity that we've different adversities that we face uh, throughout the season, you know, just continue to to, to fight and to, to come to work every day, uh, you know, just prepare to, you know, to better ourselves and to prove ourselves as a team. And uh, one thing I've kind of noticed in the wins so far this season, you guys sit at five and two, is uh, these wins seem to come when you guys really rely on the run game. You and Wes Hills have both had really great starts to the season already. You had 137 yards and a touchdown against the defenders yesterday. I mean, uh, do you feel kind of that same way? You mentioned it a little bit in your post-game press conference just about you and the offensive line kind of getting in a rhythm a little bit, it seems, recently. I mean, do you kind of like it when coach is asking you, hey, you're going to be carrying the ball 20, 30 times this game? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you know, who who doesn't who doesn't want the ball? You know, what I mean, in, the, in this game, I mean, you know. But as a running back, you know, I'm I'm definitely biased in, in saying that you know, if we if we get the run game going, if we're getting right, like you said, twenty, thirty carries a game, touches a game, however it may be, you know, I think that gives us. You know, just, just the best, just the best, uh, the best chance to be successful, um, you know, just as, as an offense. Um, and, uh, you know, that was that was definitely evident uh, yesterday. You know, we were able to to run the ball and, 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 and pass pretty well. Um, you know, it was pretty I feel like it was it, it was it was pretty even. I don't, I don't think it was too terribly one sided. Um, definitely think, you know, just us leaning on the run allowed, allowed the pass to. To, to be there and, and to, to supplement and complement each other. So, yeah, to answer your question, yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely get excited and, and definitely, uh, you know, have like the utmost confidence, you know, in, in, in our run game, our run scheme and in, in, in the guys up front. Right now, and it probably helps out, especially the quarterback position when you guys are able to run the ball pretty effectively. You guys are one of the few teams in the entire league to really have more than one starting quarterback this season. In fact, you guys have had four wow. different quarterbacks take yeah. snaps this season, especially in last week's game. You guys had Brian Lewerke and, of course, Bryce Perkins take snaps. I mean, having all these different guys in the huddle, I'm assuming as somebody who is watching on the sidelines every single week, I mean, this is going to be po pose some potential issues for you guys, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Can you talk to about just what it's like having a new guy come in? It seems almost every single game and how, and also maybe even talk a little bit about how well they've kind of performed in getting you guys, you know, into the playoffs again. Yeah. Well, I just, I think it's a testament to, you know, our, our, our coaching and, and just, you know, how, how coachable we are as, as players, you know, we're, you know, we have a great group of guys, do a great team. Um, the guys that are, you know, always, always fired up, always enthused and always just trying to, to learn and trying to become a better player, you know, trying to practice different techniques and, you know, and really just hone in to, to coaching. Um, so, I mean, really none of us flinched, uh, you know, when we found out that, you know, Danny wasn't going to be able to play this week. I mean, you know, we're all confident in, in, in the jobs that we have to do individually. Um, and as far as that, how, 
as that relates to like our offense collectively i mean it just you know we're all like aligned we're all on the same page um so it really doesn't matter who's back there you know i really think that uh we just we have like a great confidence about us you know we're super tenacious um in the things that we do at practice and um you know we, we're all holding each other accountable um you know this is like a really this is a really good team um this is a really good team no, absolutely. And uh, kind of switching over to you now. I mean, you have had a really great start to the season, Matthew. I mean, you guys uh, are on a three-game winning streak as well, playoff bound, all these great things, obviously, as part of the team's success. But I want to talk about you specifically. I mean, how sweet is it to be seeing all the success individually and team-wise, given what's happened kind of to you over the past two seasons with all the injuries and sort of everything that's been kind of going around there? I mean, how does it feel to kind of almost be back on top in sort of way. Yeah, man, it's uh it's kind of a uh, it's super it's super it's a super sweet feeling, you know, just like you said with the injuries and everything. Um, you know, I mean, I think the whole first USFL season like I was playing on a torn meniscus, um and then I got rolled up on like right before the championship game uh last year and I'm having sports hernia surgery. You know, it's like freak freak accident, so just you know, I definitely shifted my focus this off season to just being more mobile and more, you know, flexible. Uh, you know, just just doing my best to mitigate like any any potential for you know injuries or whatever it may be. Um, so I, I'm just I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful for like you know all the all the work that I put in and um, and then and not only like the things that I had to do, but just every everything that everyone else is doing right behind the scenes, like on my team, because, you know, I, I can't, I can't run 137 yards. I can't, you know, do all these different things. If, you know, the offensive line, you know, they're, if they're not doing their job, if, you know, if the quarterback isn't making the right reads on the zone. Um, so it just, it just goes back to us, like as a team, like, you know, just, just really gelling and really, um, being being aligned and like our chemistry just kind of like increasing like every week you know what I mean um, like we're, we're 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 at a really great place right now um, and uh, you know I really am confident that, that we'll continue to to improve um, week to week. Yeah, no, we're definitely looking forward to that. Also kind of sticking on the individual side of this thing, Matthew, if you don't mind, you know, the first time I ever heard about you came a couple of years ago before you were even in the USFL. It was back when you were a running back over at Wake Forest. Um, one thing I remember hearing about and not being kind of surprised that not a lot of people were talking about was the game. You had your senior year against Louisville. A little bit of backstory behind there. You know, you were originally planning on going there. Some things fell through. Mm -hmm. Ended up at Wake Forest. You played them your senior year, and you ball out. You had almost 250 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Do you remember anything about that game? If I ever had the, I always told myself, you know, if I ever had the chance to talk to you, I'd want to ask you about kind of your mindset going into a game that's kind of hyped up as a big revenge game, and then you kind of seizing the moment and really taking over. Yeah, man, um, that's definitely like probably the top five football moment for me. Um, you know, just given the whole, you know, story and everything, you know, just that win meant so much, uh, especially at the time, uh, you know, where we were in the season. I want to say we were probably like four and four, I think, something like that. So we were, you know, we were on the back half of the season and we really needed to get, you know, like a couple more wins to become bowl eligible. Um, so. You know, our backs were up against the wall, and it was just, I don't know, it was just like stars aligned, and, you know, everything just, everything just kind of, like, fell in place, and, um, you know, again, like, just, it wasn't a lot of what I did, it was a lot of, like, what we all did collectively as a team, and, you know, I was just, you know, somebody to be spotlighted, right, for, for all the work um, that we put in collectively, because I had the ball in my hands, um, and I'm in the end zone, but. Uh, nah, I mean, it was like, yeah, that was just like a dream come true, to be honest. Um, you know, really couldn't have written it any better. Um, you know, I had got, I remember I got so much press that day. Like, I remember seeing like Bleach Report, like post on their story or something or Instagram or something. I think ESPN posted or something too. Um, so it was just super cool um, to, to, you know, to live that and experience that and, and, and kind of, you know, I, I, I'm not really like, 
I'm not like a spiteful guy by any means. And, and, and I really didn't like the whole like revenge narrative thing, but you know, it would, it was definitely like a, it was definitely like a sweet feeling, you know, just to be able to like, you know, experience that and live that and just kind of like, Hey, like, you know, you guys made, you, you might've, you might've made the wrong decision a right, couple right. a couple of years ago, but right. you know, it definitely, it definitely worked out. Um, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm super thankful for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's always good to be the one that got away. Definitely there. Uh, Matthew, you know, we, we appreciate you stopping by the live desk today and talking about uh, this past win, this season entirely. But now you guys are kind of shifting focus now. I mean, it's it, uh, you guys, of course, do have that playoff berth, but you still have three regular season games remaining, and that all begins on Saturday at Ford Field. You guys will right. be taking on the Memphis Showboats. Once again, what's mm -hmm. it going to take for you guys to really focus in and finish out these final three games and not necessarily look forward to the playoffs? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is just keeping that one and zero mentality that we've been been carrying into each week. Uh, you know, like the most important game is is the the, the next game, like the game that you are preparing for. Um, so I think as long as we just continue to to you know like like stay locked in and not zoom out, right? But but rather like zoom in, you know, hone into you know this week of work preparation, and you know our opponent. You know, I, I definitely think that'll. That'll be the best uh, method for us to, you know, just to stay on track and stay locked in and stay focused. Definitely. Well, we're looking forward to that one. Again, that game is kicking off at 4 p.m. at Ford Field this Saturday. Definitely encourage everybody to go ahead and check out our website, woodtv.com. You can find tickets, uh, links to tickets, excuse me, if you're interested in attending that game. And you can also be sure to know that we will have extensive coverage of the Panthers all season long over on our website, woodtv.com. Matthew, one last time, thank you so much for stopping by the live desk today. We really do appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning in.